while you guys are getting hooked up, I just want to remind you that um, this is Lindsay Simpson. She's from the Vermont Department of Education. And I told you guys yesterday or day before, whatever, that she's just gonna she's just gonna watch what you do. So you just do your thing. Not like you're stopping her. Worried about it, clearly. <laughs> nope. Doesn't look like it. Jump without a rope or whatever. Okay. Annabella. Um, tell me about your monitor. Is it beeping right now? No. No, why not? Because I'm in the car right And what's the zone? Like 130 to 170. So what does that mean for you? Uh, that's the heart rate you want to have when you're exercising. Okay. Is it hard for you to stay in that zone? No. No? Okay. So, on this court, are any of your watches beeping? Um, no. No? Not so, yet. So, what does that mean? Um, that means that we're in the zone. Alright, cool. And how many minutes are you supposed to get for a class? 25. 25. Okay, right on. Um, you four, right? Yes. One, four, is your hands down. You did it. Maddie, can I zero in on your watch for a second? Show me what's going on here. Um, this is how long I've been going and this is my heart rate. And how many minutes do you have in the zone right now? Um, I don't know. It's the one on the top up there. Uh, 16. 16. Minutes. And how many is your goal for the class? Um, 20. Tatum, can I come in and zero in on your watch for a second? Talk to me about what this means. The number? Yep. Um, well, right now, I'm above the zone, so it means I'm working hard. Okay. And we have to have 
30 to 35 minutes in and above the zone total. total okay for a class period so how does it feel for you to be at 180 at 180 hard you're sweating probably yep um for you right now how's it feel it feels like i'm breathing hard yeah you know? okay um so tell me what you see on the watch right now so right now it says that the watch has been on and recording for 22 minutes and 15 seconds and how much time in zone do you have um about 19 so a lot of a good proportion of that most of it and so what's this number at the bottom mean this one yep that's my heart rate and how does that feel like remember that scale on the wall the board scale yeah where would you put that on the board scale um moderate moderate vigorous is more like during warm-ups yep yeah like more like a six yeah okay so this is the board perceived scale of exertion and um, Robin is teaching the kids to align their heart rate by describing how they feel on this scale. And as you can see, the goal is to be from the moderate to vigorous range, which is between a three and a six. Um, and that should line up with the heart rate um, range for in the zone. So here's some other visuals that are up on the wall. Um, obviously really cued in to the heart rate um, and the MVPA in general is something that that is being promoted in this class both with the heart rate monitors and the um, MVPA pedometers, the fit step pedometers. Another key piece of the great expectations for phys ed, that fit principle. So here's Robin's um, rubric for effort, essentially, in phys ed. You can see that it's aligned up with um, both the hurry monitors and the MVPA. Kyle and uh, Simone, will you be heart rate monitor monitors set up the cleaning stations, please? Sure. Okay, blue button, stop. Go to home screen. Can I grab another shot of your monitor before you put it away? Um, can oh actually <laughs> be on my side again. She'll kill me. It's always wow. So tell me what you guys are doing. Uh, cleaning off the straps and watches. And the watches. Yes. Okay. And then what happens with the elastic strap part? Oh, we put those in a bucket so that they can be washed. Okay. And who does the washing? Miss Davis. Cause she's awesome. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is um, tell me what what your response is to using these monitors. Do you like them? Is it fun? Is it useful? Is it helping you learn about your body? It's definitely I, interesting to see how higher our rates gives, are. It gives us a perspective about like how we're doing in gym. That's different. So, what's the highest you've ever seen your heart rate? Uh, two hundred. Two hundred. But that could have been a mistake because yeah. of how close I was to someone else. Yep. So that day it could have been like some cross talk you were getting. Yeah. Okay. And you said earlier you told me one thirty. Uh, no, no 2.30. 2.30. Because it probably spiked or something. It might have, but... Yeah. Usually, like, my highest, like, that'll do, like, with exercise is, like, 200. 200. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What were you... Do you remember what you were doing when you got your heart rate up to 200? Uh, I think pacer. Yeah. So that was a long, continuous set of aerobic activity, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.